Hey y'all, this is Jessica at Casa Magnolia and today I'm going to share with you my newly organized linen closet. This video is part of the DIY and Decor Challenge hosted by the DIY Mommy and this time's theme was organization, so I thought this would be the perfect space to share with you. The top shelf is perfect for the humidifier since we don't use it all year long. This little Ikea plant gives a small space a little bit of life. And my Vintage Linens Miniature Reed Diffuser from Pier 1 Imports gives the space such a sweet smell. Physical Therapy Basket is perfect for heating pads, massagers, and rolling balls for my husband's bad back. magazine holders are perfect for my rubbing alcohol and hydrogen peroxide that I buy in bulk from Costco, but I've also used them before to corral sheet sets. They're the perfect size for twins. Next shelf houses our medicine cabinet. These plastic bins were purchased many years ago from Target, and I just used some scrapbook paper to keep down on the visual clutter. Corralled a lot of the items that we use when someone is sick on this tray. It's perfect because you can just pull it out and set it beside the bed or put it on a TV tray next to the couch when someone's not feeling well and you have everything that you need. I like to keep a separate box of tissues because it would be my luck that I would get sick right when I had ran out of tissues. The ear thermometer is perfect to pull out just for that immediate testing. All of my baby items are in this old um, desk pen holder. I like to keep her Tylenol, gas drops. Um, we have some Aurigel. Her special thermometer that has the underarm and rectal detachments are on there. And then I also keep um, alcohol pads to sanitize those. I like to keep a steno pad and pen on hand just to record temperatures and times that medications were given. Our colorful throws are inside of this canvas basket just to cut down on the visual clutter in the area. I purchased these baskets a long time ago from, I believe, Target, and I really love that they have labels on the skinny side and the wider side because I've used them in different areas and needed to have them labeled different ways, so that's been wonderful. My quilts are folded inside out, again, just to cut down on that visual clutter. So that's how I've organized my linen closet. Thanks again to the DIY Mommy for hosting this challenge. I really loved showing you guys my newly organized space. Be sure and click the link to head to her channel and see what she did for her video and check out the playlist that she has set up for everyone else that participated. Be sure and leave this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions at all and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my other videos. Bye.